How's it going everybody? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to another video which is going to be the start of a new series called Draw the World. Now this is similar to the GeoGuessr drawing video I did the other day, except uh, a few things have changed. One of them being that I aren't using GeoGuessr anymore because it was a bit unreliable. It threw me into the middle of nowhere and it took ages for me to find something to draw. So instead I'm using Google Earth and because I'm using Google Earth I can actually choose one specific location for each of these episodes and I'd also like you to go ahead and leave a comment down below and uh, give me some suggestions of places where you'd like to see me do one of these. Also I've purchased a sketchbook and this is the Draw the World sketchbook so this is dedicated to this series and hopefully I'm going to fill this full of all this stuff that we discover through doing this. So to start this series off I'm going to choose Hong Kong as the location. I'll head over to it and select this little guy. I'll randomly drop him somewhere around the city and then it should bring us into a street view and then we can begin with the first episode of Draw the World. So this looks like some kind of park, maybe a public park in the middle of the city. I'm not sure what that is over there in the background. It looks like a lot of seating so maybe it's like, oh, I think that might be a, a football court or something in the background there next to this park and then around here over this road we have some stores that sell a lot of stuff and then there's some people working a delivery guy delivering some stuff to these shops so there's all this stuff going on immediately as soon as we get put into this city and um, but let's have a look about because i don't want to jump into some drawing too quickly but i do want to uh, speed up the whole exploration stage a bit that's why i'm using google earth this time because geoguessr it just took way too long to find something normally i got put in the middle of nowhere and uh, i was exploring these empty roads that went on forever and uh, yeah it really just took ages to find something to draw it's probably one of the longest videos on the channel but hopefully this should uh, speed things up a bit because when we're in a place like this uh, there's so much stuff it's pretty overwhelming all of the stuff that's going on but let's uh, head down this street and have a look we want to try and keep on the sad streets and stuff because that's where you normally see the, uh, the more interesting things rather than being on these main roads that are normally full of uh, vehicles and stuff so let's keep heading up here I could draw some buildings but I'd like to I'm not really sure what I'm trying to find I mean that's quite good some guy fixing a sign stood on these ladders yeah, that's quite high up as well but um, I'd like to try and find like a, a scene maybe something going on that captures uh, some activity in this city so maybe people going about their daily lives or some workers something like this guy maybe fixing a sign uh, we can come back to this place if I can remember where I am but uh, yeah I don't want to spend too long exploring around I want to jump into some drawing and uh, get this first episode done also in terms of the drawing I'm aiming to fill a full page of this sketchbook and um, it might be one big drawing or it might be a, like a series of loads of little drawings but it, again it, it depends what we come across so um, we're in like a, what looks like some kind of junction between all of these roads going off in different directions so let's uh, choose a random direction to head in and I'm just going to look for something immediately to draw rather than just spending too long talking and not really focusing on what I'm looking at so let's go up here and see where this brings us so we have the uh, oh, we have the old 7-eleven uh, they're everywhere and uh, down that way looks like there's some kind of market stall up there okay so we can either go straight up but it looks like that's some kind of uh, main road up there so let's not go down there let's take a left fear down here and see what's up up this way but what's that guy doing is he paying for parking or something is he trying to get into that shop not too sure can we go up yeah we can all right let's have a look and uh Ah, that shop's open now, so that guy might have be just been opening that shop. Who knows? Uh, right, there's a woman sat over there on a chair doing something. <gasps> Is she still there? Yeah, what's she doing? Oh, she's disappeared. Alright, so uh, it looks like that woman's disappeared, but let's just see if there's anything else. What are these guys doing? So some guy's reading a paper. Some other guy's having a, a cigarette outside his shop. Probably having a break or something. I think it might be early in the day because people are just opening the shops and everything. And there's uh, a lot of shops still closed. So there's a lot of people pushing about this stuff as well. Um, like newspapers and uh, whatever might be in that bag. But let's... Um, that's quite a cool little... 
quite a little small star. Alright, I'm a bit spoiled for choice in terms of stuff that would make for an interesting drawing. There's uh, a lot of stuff that I could do something with around here, but what's this? Like some little cardboard hut? I don't know, it looks like some guy's just unpacking all of his stuff for the day. Um, yeah, maybe he's just setting up shop, unpacking all of his stuff. What's this? Is this like some water bottles to keep to keep his little uh, tide pulling sheet on top of his roof? That's quite good. Uh, in fact, we could do something with this. I'm going to use this and uh, instead of maybe drawing it directly, maybe just draw it at a different angle or take inspiration away from that. Let's see what we can do with this and uh, yeah, let's fill this first page in the sketchbook. So from exploring the streets of Hong Kong, I found a lot of stuff that had potential. You don't really have to go far in that place to find something that makes for a good drawing. But I decided to go with this scene that we found where a person was unpacking his products and setting up his shop. Or he might have been closing for the day, I'm not too sure, but all of the other shops around the area were closed or were just opening. Um, it looks like he was storing everything in cardboard boxes and I think from looking at the items on display, he might have been selling shoes by the looks of things. There was like a shelf at the back and then it was surrounded by cardboard boxes and stuff. It looked like he put this place together himself. I mean, he had like uh, cardboard everywhere, wood, poles, and then uh, on top for the roof, he had a tie pulling sheet, which was held down by weights. And for the weights, he had used uh, bottles of water, jugs of water at the back. I'm not sure if it would be a permanent place because it was just like a, a market stall. It wasn't an actual store, it was like in the road. So maybe he just packs away the stuff that he sells and then returns to it the next day and then starts putting out everything again on display but this is the kind of stuff that I'll be drawing in this series stuff that you don't usually see and the whole purpose of exploring the world and all these strange places is to come across stuff like this and then draw it in a sketchbook but throughout this series I'll be looking for all kinds of stuff and uh, things from all over the world I hope to eventually have a, a sketchbook full of illustrations of things that we found through doing this. In terms of the drawings I create, I'll sometimes use what I find to inspire and influence a completely different drawing. It really depends on what we find, but I like to think of this series as the uh, closest thing to going out and finding things to draw, exploring different locations and bringing you with me. I'm probably going to try and keep everything consistent and draw most of this stuff in pencil, but I'm open to using colour, it really does depend on the uh, the subject and what we are drawing. I'll definitely be doing Hong Kong again though because it's one of my favourite places. Everywhere I go I seem to find something that I want to draw and I also like how dense the buildings and the layout of the city is. I've actually been lucky enough to visit the place and in all honesty Google Earth doesn't really do it justice but yeah like I said earlier let me know where you'd like me to do one of these. Through narrating the drawing as well, I'll sometimes be going off topic and just talking about stuff that I feel like. Um, if you have any questions, then let me know and I'll try to answer them in these episodes. It's a, a pretty laid back series where we can just discover and sketch things. And I'm trying to go a bit off script sometimes because I, before I start a video and I commentate and do the narration, I usually write down a few notes that I want to cover. But with this, I might just take a step back and try and have more of a a converse conversation and see where it goes like leaving all of these mistakes but uh, yeah the bigger project I'm working on is the more intense stuff and as I'm recording this I'm just finishing off the next drawing for that the robot repair store which you saw me do an update for the other day but anyways I hope you look forward to more of these if you enjoyed it then please leave a like and if you're new around here feel free to subscribe with the notifications on so that you'll always be updated when I upload video that's everything from me, this is Draw the World episode 1 and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.